morning, everybody. Today is Terrific Tuesday. It used to be Inspirational Tuesday, and we had preachers on. Now we've started having crazy people on, and I have a crazy man sitting beside me. If you know him, you love him, and you do know that he is crazy. Out of all the years I've done television, I've had a mule in the studio. I've had a boa constrictor in the studio. I've had tarantulas in the studio. I've had lynx in the studio. I've had sheep in the studio. But Chris Rumble, I have never had a live chicken in the studio. There we go. We're going to do it. You Make brought history. Me are we going to fry that chicken? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> this is a part of our part of our family. Part oh, of part uh, of not my family, but I just met Sparkles today, and now oh, we're like brother and sister. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And and Sparkles is the entertainer of the day because. Well, my gosh, you're just jumping right in, aren't we? We yes. are celebrating 25 years at Cares. 25 years. I of remember providing. the day it started. Uh, oh yeah. wow, 25 yeah. years of. Uh, of uh, providing food, You're supposed to look assistance. at me and say you do food. not look that old. You do not look that old. How could Good. you possibly? How could I possibly? Well, you're in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. So Sparkles is going to join us. And we're having a big celebration, celebrating 25 years at Lee Newton Park on September 24th. It's going to be amazing. We've had, uh, I'll get a chance to tell you all about it, but it's, uh, you know, we're doing what every other nonprofit does when they hit 25 years. We're having a car show, mm -hmm. we're having a motorcycle show, mm -hmm. we're having a cornhole tournament, mm -hmm. we're having two live bands, mm -hmm. we're having food trucks. And what like date is it? It's September 24th, Saturday. September 24th. From 2 until 7 o'clock okay. in Lee Newton Park. Are you like, going to hey, have live running. entertainment? Yes, yes, okay. we're going to have live entertainment. Okay. We're going to have, oh my gosh, at 2 p.m., we're going to have Robert Meadows. He's a solo, he's, he, he's, uh, you, uh, he's awesome. And then at four, at from uh, he'll go from two to four, and then from five until six thirty, we'll have Rusted Soul featuring Grant Hadley, uh, so live entertainment. But just like every other, you know, every other nonprofit, when they have, they do all this same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so we, we we wanted to stay in line because, uh, and, and we're also having a beauty pageant for chickens. It's a poultry pageant, uh, and poultry Sparkles pageant. is here sparkles because Sparkles is, is uh, one of uh, going to be one of the contestants. Now, and male or female all, entry uh, into no, no, the no, chickens? No, 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 no roosters allowed. No roosters allowed. You know, allowed. those men, you know, you know, and those you men, you cannot. Have seen the beauty pageants lately? <laughs> <laughs> They're entering some that ought to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen some. <laughs> well, you know how the, you, put yeah. the, you put one yeah. rooster in the midst of the rest of these females, it's not going to be good. Oh, not going to be so good. So only right. females, yeah. and Sparkles is a female, and okay. Sparkles is one of our contestants, and she is going to be one of the most beautiful. You should see her outfit she picked out. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And she was also the first one to sign up. And I was so happy because Josiah. A chicken. Uh, right. A chicken beauty pageant. Chicken beauty pageant. Now, okay. it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's yard birds. It's okay. Pol it's a poultry pageant. So if you have a goose, a okay, turkey, okay, uh, uh, what, what's your, uh, a goo a duck, uh -huh. they're uh -huh. all invited. We're we're all inclusive. We like to embrace mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. kinds here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so yeah, dress them up. <laughs> <laughs> Registration is open for all of these events at CaresForPickings.com. We, we gotta say, you see this beautiful antique quilt? I love it. We can't let the chickens sit on it because I have seen what comes out of a chicken's well, guess what? honey and <laughs> sparkles. Sparkles has a, uh, a lovely on? designer diaper on this. Oh. Thing. So so there's no problem. I've I'm been holding there, sparkles. I'm and, looking at this you know, beautiful handmade yeah. 1930 quilt. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm about to bring a live chicken on here. Are you crazy, girl? I think maybe either Josiah or I one will be holding sparkles. But Chris, Josiah, move your mic up just a little okay. bit. Don't get it near your beard. Yeah, I'll just, just pin it on my beard. <laughs> there you go. How's that? Is that better? Is that better back there in the sound Is that place? better? Okay. You know, uh, Josiah will be yeah, the one who can... Yeah, your beard is interfering, seriously. <laughs> you may have to shave before he comes back home. We may have to do something with his... <laughs> yeah. if I put it right Donovan's here? gone to get the scissors. <laughs> How's that? Is that better? Other shoulder over here. <laughs> what are we going to do? Are we on TV You right know, this is, this is what happens on live TV. That's like the day that they hired How's, me and they said, that? What do if you I think just you talk can like do this live the TV? Time. And I said, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. uh... Josiah will be the one who will make the call if he thinks that uh, Sparkles can stand. He's, he showed me how, you know, most times a chicken in a place like this, you put the chicken out. The chicken's going to go running around like a chicken. You With know. his hand cut off. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> but uh, okay. he, he knows Sparkles, and he might put Sparkles right there and we'll, kind of see we'll what see. happens. We'll so, see. But this is live TV, <laughs> yeah, right? It is live, live TV. TV. And the, uh, we don't know what y'all are going to get today, I'll just tell you. <laughs> Now, 25 years of 25 providing years. food for the community of Pickens County. Right. Mm -hmm. I know, I can almost tell you the years that people were desperate for food, mm -hmm. that people were hungry. Right. Families were hungry. Mm -hmm. Huh? 
Okay. People um, were struggling and suffering and there were no jobs. Now, I have a real problem with the fact that there are thousands of jobs today and people won't work. Mm -hmm. It's Do true. you it's still true. see a huge need at CARES? Are people, the older people who didn't, who don't have the money to budget for today's right. rise in grocery prices? Interesting. Uh, you know, our our families have pretty much maintained the same. There's a little bit of adding and subtracting, mm -hmm. but uh, but the but the folks that we we uh, we provide for uh, about ninety percent of them aren't able to work, Sherry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you might think with all of the uh, inflation and everything, wow, people must be flocking to CARES. No, it's it's just not true. About the same. Uh, about the same. And uh, the ones who can work are in transition. Mm -hmm. We don't have uh, people that ought to be working who are just coming and getting food. Mm -hmm. uh, once, once I got to CARES, you know, I kind of had this idea uh, about these kinds of things. But once I got here and got to know the folks, I began to see, yeah, these folks, this is their only recourse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so we're very happy uh, to have been doing that now for 25 years. We had a, uh, we've had a cool thing happen. Uh, we've had, uh, uh, well, I say the Lord and our donors uh, have been very good to CARES. And uh, uh, for the last 25 years, uh, you know, we provide financial assistance as well for mm -hmm, folks who mm -hmm. are, need to get their power on. Or, exactly. Yeah, we don't yeah. give money out, but we pay the <coughs> Right. And uh, it's always been uh, you can come once every 12 months. That's true of pretty much across the board with other ministries mm -hmm. like ours, St. Mm -hmm. Vincent de Paul, and, and uh, you know, come once every 12 months. <clears throat> well, uh, we've, uh, we've, we have seen an uptick in people in need of those kinds of things. And uh, we have uh, we've decided to, uh, to provide that twice a year now. So, uh, you know, a lot of times in the summer, it gets really tough if your power is cut off and you're it is 100 degrees you know you're there's a family in trouble mm -hmm. in the winter or you lose all your food right lose all your, your food freezer. there you go yeah so yeah. so twice a year now once twice in a 12 month period people can come which means we were giving away about $55,000 uh, annually to financial assistance so potentially uh, it means that we can give away up to $110,000, $115,000 every year wow. because of wow. this one decision. It just makes ripples. <clears throat> and so mm -hmm. we're very excited about that, very happy about that because, uh, you know, we've, we really haven't, until now, we really haven't increased the amount we give as much either, but prices go up, you know? Yeah. And so we, were, we first thought, well, maybe we should increase the amount we give, but instead we just decided to do it twice, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, twice a year for those who, who are mm -hmm. in need. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Well, <clears throat> for everybody who knows, last week I had to get my co-host to carry the show. Today it's going to be that way too because this is like 10 days into this, but it's allergies and I'm here. I'm not contagious. So I didn't this want anybody to think that I'm, no. that I'm being I'm to mean be and evil and bringing germs or cooties. Yeah. <laughs> it truly is allergies, and um, I was in a house that had a serious mildew problem, and I've, I'm paying the price for it, but I'm trying. It's getting a little bit better, but my throat today is really sore, so you're going to get to carry most okay. of the show, but I always read one page from God Keeps Showing Up, Amen. and I'm going to do that, and I hope I can do it because um, this morning I've been, I've been just sipping on just literally putting honey in my mouth trying to get my throat working so through the dirt and I think this is appropriate because the chicken scratches through the dirt Always. so the chicken scratches through the dirt and I don't know what he finds she finds my wife is a master gardener she loves trees and plants and spends a great deal of time in the dirt I've learned a few things but I don't have the passion that she has within her unfortunately I've developed a drug problem in the process because I am drug around everywhere she goes to dig holes and move rocks <laughs> during this time of year she is so excited with everything blooming she tells me what they are and puts a lot of adjectives before the names I just nod my head as we head toward the next plant or tree what I do get excited about is the newness of life during this season of the year. Having just recently experienced Easter, these plants and trees that are blooming remind me of the third day. Martin Luther said, <clears throat> Our Lord has written the promise of the resurrection, not in the books alone, but in every leaf in springtime. Because of the new life, we see we always have the hope of better days. We are going through some tough times with the pandemic and the economy in our country. 
but our trust is in God Almighty and He will get us through it. I think of a quote from Barbara Johnson who said, if things are tough, remember that every flower that ever bloomed had to go through a whole lot of dirt to get there. God has promised that He would never leave us or forsake us. When we go through the storms and dirt this world um, that this world throws at us, we claim His promise in Isaiah 41.10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. He is a lot closer to us than we think. Amen. And um, without Him, CARES would not have made it 25 years. Nope. Without Absolutely the prayers not. of the wouldn't community, have, without the giving hearts mm -hmm. of the community, That's CARES right. would never have made it. You are exactly right. And so mm -hmm. today I've kind of given you a rundown of how we're going to do mm -hmm. things. And because <clears throat> my throat is, you know what I've got? I never thought about this. I should have thought about this before we went on there. <laughs> this is what you get out of live TV. Could you I know, give you a quick rundown of each element and, and, and the sponsors as well? And then absolutely. we can be more. Those are the things that I have to say. And that you know. keeps me from having to talk. <laughs> These are the things that I have to say. And then uh, we, can, we can be more improvisational after that. So, yeah, we're so excited. We have a, we, we, it, this is 25 years, big celebration at Lee Newton Park, 2 to 7 p.m. We're going to have a, a, a car show brought to us by Tracy Hensley of uh, the Pickens Freedom Cruisers. They meet every fourth Saturday, I think, in Pickens, and they are going to be uh, bringing their car show to us. And Tracy Hensley is a mover and a shaker. She is outstanding, and she's helping us with the car show. Then there's a motorcycle show mm -hmm. brought to us by Michelle Tidwell from I Think Financial. She's in charge of all the finances there and, and all what they do there at I Think Financial. They're fantastic, but she's also a motorcycle girl, and so mm -hmm. she's helping us with the motorcycle show. And then there's, uh, then there's a cornhole tournament brought to us by Kevin O'Day from Escape and Abate. You ever been over there? They, they have laser tag, they have an escape room. Weekend. Oh my gosh, they have the most amazing escape room. It's like the best escape room in the world. You know what? Last Labor Day, not, not yesterday, but mm -hmm. last Labor Day, there was a youth group from Calhoun came on an Audi. They're still in there. They hadn't found their way out. That's how good <laughs> the it's escape good. room is. <laughs> oh, and then, then we, have, uh, we have the poultry pageant, yard bird pageant. Beauty pageant for chickens, goose, geese, ducks, and turkeys. And uh, that's brought to us. Uh, I, oh, let me tell you how this happened. I asked Ava Rogers, I don't know if you know Ava Rogers from WYYZ, mm -hmm. uh, the Croc, uh, uh, AM and FM station in Jasper. Uh, I, said, I called her up and said, Ava, would you, be, uh, would you be in charge of our live music? First thing out of her mouth was, I will do it on one condition. I said, okay. You allow me to do a beauty pageant for chickens. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is and I was terrible. like immediately, immediately uh, said yes. I mean, I would have said yes even if she hadn't committed to do the live, mm -hmm. live music. And the live music, as I said, there's Robert Meadows and then Rusted Soul with Grant Hadley. Uh, we have been so blessed with givers and donors. Uh, so I gotta mention our key sponsors for this event. First of all, two sponsors coming in at a whopping $5,000. There's uh, there's uh, Diversified Electronics. Uh, mm -hmm. These folks, uh, they do all the, you know how in the NFL when the quarterback can hear the coach and with NASCAR, the, they can talk to each other. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. They're not only uh, sponsoring Can you us. call them and get them to get me a better earpiece? <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call them. I love it. It's new and I love it and I'm very appreciative of it, but it keeps popping out of my ears. So go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but they're helping us out not only with, uh, with that sponsorship money, but also with a radio set that we can talk to each other all day long. Uh, Kevin Godfrey is one of my good friends, and he's an old time, uh, he's a Jasper native, and he runs corporate health care financing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, kind of a cutting edge thing, uh, like for big companies like BMW, and uh, where they, they, uh, they fund their own health care for the employees. They don't go to the insurance companies. They do mm -hmm. it themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and they came through with a huge $5,000 sponsorship. Bojangles, believe it or not, guess who are the sponsor of our poultry pageant is? I can't imagine. <laughs> guess you can't guess I can't that. Imagine. Bojangles, that's right. And no, we're not going to be, uh, not going to be cooking the, uh, the winner. But he, here's the thing, though. Bojangles is also going to have a food truck there, and then they're going to give a portion uh, over and above their $2,500 sponsorship, they're going to give a portion of the proceeds of that food back to CARES. Of course. 
Here's another thing that's really, really, really exciting about this poultry pageant. Other than the grandeur, the glory, the beauty of watching these lovely yard birds uh, traipse themselves across the stage, uh, when they, um, when, when the winners are announced, uh, there's going to be 25 entrants, all right, uh, and, uh, and, you know, we're trying to figure out how we can do, you know, the whole thing, evening gown, swimsuit competition, <laughs> only kidding. <laughs> But uh, it, when it's all said and done, there'll be 12 winners, mm -hmm. all right? And then there'll be, of course, the first, second, third, but there'll be 12 finalists. And then after that, uh, for uh, 2023, we'll be uh, putting out the Crowing for Cares pictorial calendar. Oh, cool. So, uh, so those 12 finalists will be featured each month, and mm -hmm. the others will be on the cover. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be so much fun. We're going to make that available. And, uh, with some cute taglines. Cute taglines, and we'll get every kind of chicken special day in the calendar. And, uh, you know, if we can afford it, we'll let the winner be, you know, the centerfold. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, it's going to be hilarious. And uh, a couple more sponsors, Coca-Cola coming in with $1,000, and they're also going to be, uh, be providing beverages mm -hmm. uh, for our volunteers. Uh, Bank OZK is coming in. Still waiting to see how much they come through with, and uh, the sheriff's department. They were, they were waiting until after uh, Jeep, Jeep Fest, Fest, but Sheriff uh, uh, Sheriff Donnie Craig is coming and, and in with some sort of a big sponsorship. And let's give a shout out. The Jeep Fest has to date over a million dollars. Unbelievable. <coughs> over Unbelievable. a million dollars for good of our communities. And when you think about amazing. it, hasn't really gone on that Ten long. Years. I yeah. mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, averaging a hundred thousand dollars every year. I think last year they raised like over two hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It. And then the one year they missed because of COVID, right. I think it just made people want to come even more. So I am a huge fan of I think there were a thousand Craig. entries right. this year. So yeah. I'm a huge fan of law enforcement anyway, but I'm a, I'm a big fan of Donnie Craig. Absolutely. He is a, he is a good, good He's man a good and a good friend. So yeah, and so that's what's happening. the car show is September the 24th. Car show, September 24th. 24th. Mm -hmm. All of this happens on the same day. Mm -hmm. Car show, motorcycle show, there it is on your screen. Mm -hmm. Poultry pageant, cornhole tournament, live bands, food trucks. Oh my gosh, it's going to be more fun than really, there ought to be a rule against this much fun in I one know, day. What I that, know. You know, but. Uh, <laughs> and what would people pay to see that chicken land in my hair? <laughs> you could raise a lot of money. We could, we could. <laughs> Yeah, our daughter said he could make that happen. <laughs> and in it all, uh, oh, there buddy. is a, a fee uh, for the cornhole and the and the motorcycle and the corn and the car show. If you want to be a part of those, it's twenty five dollars for each mm -hmm. vehicle, mm -hmm. twenty five dollars to be in the doubles tournament. Uh, you can register your chicken for only five dollars. Mm -hmm. But then Josiah and his other uh, uh, cohorts will be having, uh, they'll be raising money. Mm -hmm. The chicken that raises the most chicken or the yard bird that raises the most money will win the pageant. Okay. So, but the event is free. CARES has never done a free mm -hmm. event like this. Is there so a way really they, they can register online? Yes, go okay. to caresforpickens.com. There's a portal right there. Mm -hmm. Pay your money, register, sign the waiver. The whole thing is right there. Very there easy. Go. There mm -hmm. you go. Okay, well, I have some good news that I have to share. I got a message a few minutes ago, and I said it on Facebook, but I have to say it now on ETC. A lot of people watching today love our dear friend Vic Davis. Vic Davis came out of surgery and is in recovery doing very, very well. He is at Piedmont, Atlanta. It was a little, you know, we were worried, we were praying, we were, okay, Lord, let's watch over this gentleman because he needs to get back to work at 57 Heaven. We really need him out there supervising the rebuild of the 396 engine. So, Vic Davis, you better get up out of that bed and you better get back to work just as quick as you possibly can. Thank you all for your prayers. Thank you all for caring about this wonderful gentleman that we love. And we're going to go now to a song. This is Vic's favorite song. So when he comes home, he will get to watch this. He loves doing this song when his brother and Dwight and he did it a few weeks ago. He said, that's my favorite song. So of course it's what we're going to play today. So y'all, we're going to take a commercial break and we're going to go to this song. And it is a train song. And of course we would have a train song. So here we go. Sit back and, and thank you again for your prayers for Vic. He is going to be doing great and coming home very soon.
whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? The American Made Music Festival returns to Hiawassee, Georgia, September 15th through 17th. This three-day festival features the best of country, bluegrass, and gospel music, including special guests Craig Morgan, Lone Star, Ricky Skaggs, and Kentucky Thunder, Daly and Vincent. Stars and stripes forever, America. Three-day and single-day tickets available, along with on-site camping by the lake. The American Made Music Festivals with Daly and Vincent, presented by Gus Arendale and Springer Mountain Farms. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. I said, come on, darling, take me downtown, because I want to see some of that country in Blue Ridge, Georgia. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Blessed Savior, 
who made it through surgery at Piedmont Atlanta today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, Chris, take it away. Yes, ma'am. You got the chicken and you got the boy. Yes, Let's go. Yes, ma'am. I am honored to be in studio today with my buddy, Josiah Holloway. This is one of the finest young men I've met in a long, long Five time. Five years old? Five years old. He does look older old. than that, doesn't he? Five years old. Yeah. You look such like a, you're seven or eight. smart yeah. uh, young man and sweethearted. And he's got one of his best friends right here in his arms. It's Sparkles. Sparkles. Uh, is it Sparkles Holloway or just Sparkles? Oh, that's called Sparkers. Sparkles. And so, uh, how did Sparkles get uh, get the name Sparkles? Well, that's called through that. Just named her. That's what came to mind when you saw her, huh? She's yeah. older than you. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's six. She's six. Wow. Yeah, she's this old. Yeah. Wow. So can you tell them why Sparkles is here today? Why did I invite, why did I and Miss Sherry invite you here today to bring Sparkles? What's Sparkles about to do? What's Sparkles gonna do on September 24th? She's all dressed up, isn't she? Yes. She has a straw hat on and, and, uh, and overalls. Oh my goodness. Why is she so dressed up? What's she getting ready for? Do you, do you know? The poultry pageant? Yeah. Yeah. Is she gonna win the poultry pageant? I have no idea, but I might dress her up as a rooster. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if she'd like that. Yeah, I don't think she'd like that. I, I would think she would rather have on high heels than an evening gown. I might just dress her up in the rooster, but I might get in trouble. Yeah, you might. <laughs> well. Oh, now let me ask you something. Where do you live? Well, I live in Canton, Georgia. In Canton, Georgia, okay. And do y'all live on a big farm, or how do you have so many chickens? <clears throat> Stop scratching me, Sparkles. Stop it! Sparkles! Not right now! Sparkles! Sparkles! Chicken's getting in his mic, yeah. Yeah, okay, she's getting... Would you like me to hold Sparkles for a minute while you fix your microphone? Yeah. There we go. I knew this was going to be an all time first. And the chicken gets in my ear. I know what Johnny Carson went through all those times with the live animals. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. There you go. That was brave of me to take Sparkles That was brave, and we're going to let Chris hold gonna, him, yeah. yeah and that way it doesn't interfere with your mic, yeah. I, so, and, and I get the joy of Yeah, and Chris, your mic is covered. Okay, all right. All right, here we go. Yeah, you can hold it. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if we can find it. Uh, yeah, we got to find you. Here we go. Trace, come over here. Yeah, okay. we got it. If we can find it, yeah. It's down here somewhere, y'all. I oh see it coming. Oh, my goodness, it's up here yeah. Okay, we, go. we got it. Okay. All right. This is so what happens when you bring a live chicken on set. Okay. Now, uh, there I you go. This brought a rooster. Because <laughs> the rooster's 
the roosters, are they the more roosters common mind than better. Yeah. I did oh. not know that. So tell the folks. Yeah. Don't uh, say on live TV uh, that men act better than women because you'll, <laughs> you'll make a bunch of enemies. So what kind of chicken okay, is this? Okay, will you fix his mic, What, what kind of chicken is this? Uh, okay, wait just a minute. Smoky we'll Pearl. That. Smoky Pearl. It's a Smoky Pearl. Is she expensive? Yeah, she's like $5. Five if you sold this chicken right now, though, at this age, how mm -hmm. much would a chicken like this go for you? This is a, million. About a hundred million. Yeah, well, hundred million dollars. And it's called Smoky oh. Pearl because of the way the her comb that's worth looks. More than is that right? Yes. And do all Smoky Pearls um, chickens have this white and black marking, or are they all different? Mm -hmm. uh, they're the same. Most of them are sparkles. white and black. She's marked. very pretty. Oh, sparkles. Yeah, yes, I like beautiful. have two of them. She is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And and tell me about when you sell your chickens. You were telling me you kind of do you sell bargain price chickens? You said one dollar, two dollars. What price chickens do you sell? Well, well, the little babies they're one dollar. One dollar. And the mama hens they're five dollars. Mm -hmm. And the daddy roosters they're six dollars. And the big little babies they're six dollars if they're a rooster. And the little baby hens they're five hundred dollars. And the big uh, and the big and the mama hens put together with the babies put together with the roosters were there one hundred dollars. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> so that's a money making thing. Where do you bank? Because I bet the bankers come after you and they want you to be putting in your money in their accounts. Do you keep your money in a piggy bank or do you uh, put it in a treasure chest and bury it out in the backyard? What do you do with all that money? You got a lot of money coming well, in. Well, <laughs> kind of, I just put in my big square safe. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he's got a safe. Got yeah. Yeah, yeah, with a will. Yeah. So, no, I can't don't touch your mic. Don't key. mess with it, okay? okay. You and I can't remember careful. where I put the key, and now I can't open it. And you can't get your money out? No, so now I have to make a new iron key. Or you could get a piece of dynamite and blow it up. No, don't do that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But that would be bad to not be able to get to your money. So maybe you'll find the key. I hope so. Well, actually, I done made a new key. Okay. But good thing I made now, five of them, so I guess I lose some. When you do the beauty pageant with the chicken or the poultry pageant, are you going to tie a rope on its leg and let it walk across the stage? Or what are you going to do? How are you going to do it? Yep. Well, I usually got a tie rope. I got three of them, whatever mm -hmm. she's doing here. Where do you put that rope on the chicken? On her leg. On her leg. On her leg. See, I didn't know that, so mm -hmm. I learned something mm -hmm. new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the chickens ah, yeah. in the poultry pageant have to be caged or leashed at all times. Mm -hmm. So they can't get in some woman's hair. Yeah, exactly. That was that's the reason why we made that. To, and yeah. we we thought and we thought well Sherry might come. Yeah. So we need to make <laughs> sure. Sherry's hair. It'd be bad. It'd be bad. And okay. there's no other animals allowed mm -hmm. at Lee Newton Park that day because they don't mix well with chickens, mm -hmm. dogs. Mm -hmm. no, none of them mix well with right, chickens. Right. So. Uh, Let we're, me we're ask not you something. Does come. she lay eggs every day? Yep. In the morning or in the night. And. This might, do you eat her eggs or do y'all just raise her eggs? What do you do? Well, well, we're hoping we get a rooster and... Then you can raise her eggs. Yes, and yes, then we yes. have little baby chicks. Yes. But I'm wanting to get a baby red rooster with a baby red hen and that baby red rooster can go to this smoky pearl hen and when that, when that, he kisses her, then I get a smoky pearl, then I get a smoky pearl rooster out of it. Oh yeah. boy, now that and would be cool. And maybe kind of a reddish smoky pearl with that red. That would be cool, yeah. Wow. You got it all planned out, don't yeah, you? Yeah, then it'll be half smoky pearl yeah. and half BB red. You know, you know you who he reminds me of? My mama when she was planning my life and wanted me to marry a Jewish doctor. <laughs> I'll just tell you, son, it don't work the way you want it to. <laughs> it will never work. <laughs> Maybe you can pull off a miracle and maybe you can make that happen. So she would be bred by somebody out of her breed and then they would have a really unique mm -hmm. chicken. Mm -hmm. That would be really cool. That yeah, would be sure. really Would you be the first person to ever do that? Maybe so. Maybe so. That would be really cool. That would be really cool. 
Now, do you ship chickens? If somebody buys chickens, do you could take it to the post office? I see people putting chickens in the mail. Did you know that? Well. Or do people come to your farm and buy them? Well, some people come to my farm and buy them, but if there's a little boy way out in another state, I usually just, my dad does, my dad does calls the mailman and I just ship them. Yep, mm -hmm. that's good. That's and good. usually, if there are eggs, I just put them on free. And really? how, how old were you when you started investing in chickens? Well, when I was a little baby, I started growing up. Then I was four. On my next birthday, I was five. Mm -hmm. Now I'm big. How long have you been working with the chickens and, and uh, helping your, your, uh, your father to... You were five when you started working with the chickens, yep. your, your father said. And probably... So you're, this is a new thing for you, right? So I've been working with the chickens probably like a hundred years. Or okay, six well, years. you're an old soul. <coughs> wow. You sell the eggs? Yeah. How many, so how many, so you've got like a hundred million chickens. You must have a hundred million eggs every day. That's a lot of eggs. Yes. Yeah. I'll loosen up her hat. Yeah. Now, what is, does she have a last name? Yeah. Do you give birth certificates to these? Is she a rare breed? Is she one of these that needs to have paperwork with her? Is she a very special chicken? Well, kind of she's one of these breeds that like to sit on tables and stay still. So she's a breed chicken. Okay. <laughs> Does she roost? Does she sit on a roost? We're not going to try that again. Do you have cages? Do you have cages where they sit and roost What's and then look at her? What is oh, she Oh, she's doing? got her hat, hat stuck in her beak. <laughs> Bless her heart. She's got a wardrobe malfunction. Uh oh Sparkles, what are you oh, doing? No. Sparkles okay. and uh, uh, what's her name, Jackson? Sparkles and <laughs> Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Her name is Sparkles yeah. and her last name is Holloway. Sparkles okay. Holloway. Okay. Yeah. All right, I got it. Now, why did you put overalls on her instead of a pretty dress for a beauty pageant? Well, I kind of just put in a chicken pull up on her so she don't poop everywhere. Oh, I'm so thankful for that. Thank you so much. Did that you, was so considerate of him. Did you know you could it? order chicken diapers on Amazon? Oh my goodness, no, you can I get did not. anything in on Amazon. Chicken overalls and chicken pull ups. That is crazy. That is crazy. Okay, Josiah, <laughs> if you if you win the contest, what are you going to do with your Do they get a trophy, Chris? They what do. do they they'll get? get a trophy. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And they'll get to be featured in the Crowing for Cares pictorial calendar. calendar. Yeah. There you go. There it's you gonna go. be amazing. Well next well next year I come here. Uh she's not gonna be wearing her hat or her little thing here. She that's gonna be wearing her diaper. Oh. Oh. She's gonna be a little bit a little yeah. bit less so, so more ever, scantily clad. So <laughs> everybody sees her beautiful in this. Oh. <laughs> Do you that think we're missing so out awesome. on her beautifulness? We're, we got yeah. some of her beautifulness covered you, up with the overall. Now, do you get up every morning and start your day with her? Well, well, when I get up, yes, I kind of do, because I love her. You Aww. love her. That is so sweet. You are so sweet. That is so, so sweet. sweet. Oh, my gosh. Well, we're going to take a music break right now, and I okay. want to share some music that Tim put together for me. I just threw him out a bunch of stuff. And I said, do a compilation of some of the music that we all love. And um, y'all will see Dwight again on Thursday, but he's been in the studio working for days on a project that is a gift for our friend Vic Davis. And um, when he's not working on somebody else's stuff, he's working on his own stuff. And so in the near future, you're going to get an opportunity to buy a fan favorite. But I had Tim put together my oh, fan kisses. favorite, just something that we could throw out there on YouTube, throw it out there at y'all, and you'll get to see a little bit about the man and the music. And I just gotta tell y'all, thank you for the sweet comments, and thank you for the text, and thank you for the, um, the messages that you send me. He is a great addition to this show, and I'm so, so thankful for him, and so thankful for his talent. I said, I feel like I'm abusing you because I use you so much for music, but He's, he's just local boy, local talent, and uh, I want y'all to sit back now and just pay attention 
to a little bit of what our boy Tim has put together and uh, you can pick it up on YouTube. It is Dwight Sanford and it is some cool stuff. Here we go. Until it's over or until my dying day I could do these things and tell myself I don't care anymore And I could hope it don't get worse again But I've been wrong before Georgia. We're right across from Ace Hardware, and you have no idea the work and the, and the pain I went to to get these two uh, corralled in here today. We got with us Victor Davis and his brother Bobby Davis. My name's D. White Sanford, and we're going to tell some biggins and we're going to sing some songs. Vic, uh, you know them wheels you give me? Yeah, yeah. Artillery, so our, our truck, yeah, yeah, yeah. I painted them things. I got them painted up, and they look good. Sure do. Well, what about the hubcaps? Well, I sold them. The wheels looks good after I painted them. I just sold the hubcaps. Let's <laughs> <laughs> sing a blues song. <laughs> Not getting in my hair, which is pretty cool. That is pretty cool because if y'all could have seen that, 
I just knew that chicken was going to be flogging me. So we're going to say goodbye to Josiah now, but you had one more thing you wanted to say? What? Well, well, what? Don't my, miss or you might, yeah. You, uh, my thing that if she gets loose and get in your hair, I'm going to have a camera ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay. All right, wait and sit tight. We're gonna we're gonna take a break and we're gonna get somebody to come and get you and the chickens so they land where they're supposed to. So y'all, can we go to just a thirty second clip of something real quick? Just a thirty second. If it's uh, use glory bound stuff and and show that, do something just to uh, so we can make sure the chicken leaves the set safely. So no chickens have been harmed in this program. Bye bye, bye bye, folks. Go south. Here we go. Bye bye. Can y'all get the chicken? Microphone. AM rock was all we knew back yeah. then. And BJ would sing. She was just 16 and all alone when I came. We're back. Okay. Now, Chris, let's wind down with everything going on. Give everybody the information. And y'all, there were bets going on that for every, they would pay $100 to see that chicken get in my hair. I just, I was, I, I got a little bit scared because when it started to go, we were like, holy cow. Yeah, Donovan said he'd give his whole paycheck to see that. <laughs> do my best to hold the audience, but they tell you never to follow children and animals. Right? <laughs> That's right. It, it, it just can't he be was precious. <laughs> he is precious. Precious. Lord have mercy. I can sit and listen to him talk all day. Oh, my. So cute. So yeah, 25 years celebrating, uh, 25 years of CARES. Uh, We're going to play uh, with your mic again. Yep. All right. Oh, it's turned off. Hand me your mic. Turn it off. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're having mic problems today. How in the world did that get turned off? 
Uh, let's see. Right there. Got it? Yeah, it's on. It's on. Uh-oh, we got a problem. Okay, Houston, we got a problem. I will. Let me, let me talk about another event while we're doing this. Turn on the receiver on the floor. Okay. Glory Bound, one of my dear, dear friends, Bob and Linda Reese, have a bike and classic car show on October the 8th. And this is sign up is at nine, ride is at 10. You get a free lunch and concert at 11.15. And this benefits White Christmas in Cherokee County. And I can tell you, 37 years of doing this and watching them, 37 years, 200 to 700 children per year are, are benefiting with Christmas because of these folks. So please be part of it. Their phone number is 770-500-4848. And I hope you will be a part of this. I plan to be a part of it. It's at Hickory Flat Fellowship Church, 5301 Hickory Flat Highway in Canton, Georgia. And I can guarantee you I'll be there. I love what Bob Reese and Glory Bound does for, for kids. I also love what they do for um, for the senior citizens Absolutely. as well. They are, uh, what a fantastic ministry. Yep. They've been friends to CARES. They came and sang. An event for us the did best. not charge a, the a best. dime. The best. Whatever people gave them, they gave right <laughs> back. It was mm -hmm. amazing. They are fantastic, beautiful mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So appreciate them so absolutely. much. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let's get back to what you've got going yeah, on. Yeah, 25 years. We're celebrating 25 years, 1,300 weeks of volunteer-driven providing for the good folks of Pickens County. Food, finances, and, and counseling. Uh, big event, Lee Newton Park, September 24th, Saturday from 2 to 7. Car show, motorcycle show, poultry pageant, oh my gosh, cornhole tournament, food and live music. You don't want to miss it. You do not want to miss this. You'll be, you'll be lying in your bed for, for decades Worrying with deep it. regret, wondering <laughs> why or oh, why didn't I go to that event, mm -hmm. for sure. You know what would be so cute? If, if people vote for the chicken, once they get to know that little child, they'll vote for him. That's right. And, oh and so he, he's yeah. got an ace in the hole. Oh if my. he represents his chicken, oh the yeah. chicken can show up looking like you a dog. You better believe it. it you better matter. believe it's it. So yep. It's so cute. This is an event that, yeah, there might, uh, it's not going to be based on the beauty. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. It's going to be mm -hmm. funny. And, uh, you know, we're, we, we thought it'd be, be really cool. Uh, what do you think about this year? You, you, you've got a good sense for entertainment, you know. Yeah. When, that, when we come down to the finalists and we have the grand winner mm -hmm. and that grand mm -hmm. winner is, is uh, you know how Burt Parks used to mm -hmm. sing, There She Is. Uh -huh. We thought it'd be really cool if we had an Elvis impersonator singing uh, Love Me Tender. Wouldn't that be good? <laughs> Yeah. Wouldn't that be good? With some honey Susan mustard. Armstrong gets credit for that joke. With some honey mustard on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I love me tender with barbecue sauce on the side. So. There you go. There you go. Lord have mercy. Oh, but it's going to be a great, great day. We uh, want you to oh, come out yeah. for the community. It's going to be so much fun. And it is to give back to an organization that would not run without the volunteers. That's and right. The, you can't say enough about your volunteers. Exactly. Volunteers. We have an amazing crew. And, and by the way, if you want to volunteer for CARES, there's almost nothing you can't do uh, in, in volunteering for I CARES. Did. People think I about did. the warehouse and that kind of thing. Yeah. But there's all kind of things you can do from uh, fundraising to uh, IT to data entry to... Uh, to being a volunteer at our coffee shop. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know about our coffee shop, come by and have a cup of coffee. Any Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 to 12. This is, a, this is something we provide for our families who wouldn't have an opportunity to go and have coffee at a, like what is exactly like a high-end coffee shop. So we, we feel like people connect over coffee, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times uh, um, poverty will isolate people from the culture. So uh, so now when folks come for assistance, when they walk in, they don't hear, let's see your ID, here's your number, they hear, would you like a cup of coffee? And they get to sit mm -hmm. and connect and converse, uh, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you want to volunteer at CARES, there's all kinds of opportunities. That's awesome. Absolutely. Well, I've, I've got to throw in another kind word for my friend Michael Smith, who wrote, God keeps showing up. And I can tell you, from the day CARES was founded, God was showing up on the scene. Absolutely. You and right. y'all would never Always. have made it 25 years without him. That's right. And it has, it has been amazing to see the success and, and often the struggles, because there were times that your shelves were empty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we hit some hard spots. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, but every four years we might hit a hard spot mm -hmm. and the economy tanks. and. Mm -hmm people suffer and it's it's been hard but mm -hmm. um 
Thank you. Thank you for being here today. And thank, thank you for, you for having this. me. You, you give and you give and you give and you give and you always come up with something creative. And I don't think I saw that happening today. I don't think I knew that there was going to be a chicken here live. I, I'll just say, but, but I can tell y'all. I, I knew you'd be up for it. Out sure. of every animal we've ever had, the only one, and I remember it like it was yesterday, we had boa constrictors on this set over here, and Sherry was on this set, and I sent my daughter over there with a boa constrictor. I said, I am not getting anywhere near not that snake. Bit. And my daughter's over here, Mama, just touch it. It just feels so cool. And I said, I ain't oh, happening. Cool. It ain't happening. <clears throat> the chicken, I would have done something with it, because I loved, I, I told you all the story. I had a chicken that I loved, absolutely loved it. This child connects with his chicken yeah definitely and he connects definitely. in a different way than i do i connect with do i put salt and pepper and garlic or do i put salt and pepper and butter <laughs> he connects a little differently but but how precious he was thank you for bringing him that i was did so not sweet. realize people were so passionate and so uh, yeah, how, how much yeah. chickens can be such loving pets yeah, i mean yeah, that's love cool. to cuddle that's and cool. kiss and yeah, you know, he, peck on he the cuddles, he all that cuddles good his, his chicken. So, okay, it is time for us to get out of here. Tomorrow, we are going to be doing something that uh, I want to remind you about because um, it is, without our sponsors, we wouldn't be here. So thank you to all our sponsors. If, if you know our sponsors from the Dairy Queen to Farmers Insurance, all these guys, please go by and tell them thank you and tell them for, thank you for being a part of what we do here. And without our audience, we wouldn't be here. So thank you for all your sweet comments and all your kind messages. And I'll see you again soon, only on ETC.